Hello friends, as I have mentioned in my previous video naming ME Engine's remote control systems, in order to control the events of this system, it is very crucial to synchronize the engine speed and its crankshaft position with these control systems. The TACO systems are installed on ME Engine's incorporating two angle encoders naming A and B, along with a pickup sensor located on the flywheel to achieve the engine crank angle position and the speed of the engine. Both these angle encoders demand to be aligned precisely in order to receive the accurate position of the crankshaft. If at all the angle encoders A and B are misaligned, the TACO alignment error alarm triggers on the MOP and needs to be attended at earliest as this can cause a maximum pressure deviation in the cylinders. In this video, I'll discuss the steps to troubleshoot this alarm. So friends, let's get started. To troubleshoot this alarm, the first step you need to take is to inspect the mechanical condition of the encoders located on the forward end of the engines. The reason for the angle difference between the TACO system A and B could be due to the following conditions. Firstly, the bearing of the compensator is damaged, causing the angle deviation between the encoders. Secondly, the shaft on which the encoders A and B are positioned is bent and lost its trueness. And thirdly, the most common reason is the securing brackets for the encoder itself are broken due to the vibrations, further causing the misalignment of the encoders. In our case, both these brackets for encoder B had given up. So these securing brackets needed to be replaced. At earliest opportunity, considering safe navigation, you need to stop the main engine and replace these brackets. Unscrew all the clamping screws for the damaged bracket. Loosen the encoder locking ring screw and pull out the encoder B. You will get access to the inner screws securing the brackets. Remove the screws and the broken brackets. Friends, engineering isn't about perfect solutions. It's about doing the best you can with limited resources. We did not have spare brackets available on board. So we had to fabricate it as the show must go on. Fix these new brackets on the encoder B and secure them with the screws. After ensuring the clamping ring of the encoder is loose mount back the encoder to its final position. Fix the screw further securing the brackets to the compensator flange. Confirm the brackets are providing spring action so that the encoders are not subjected to direct vibrations. Guys, the next step is very important. You need to realign the encoder B to an angle identical to that of encoder A. As you can see on the screen, the encoder A is positioned at an angle 359.7 degrees and encoder B is indicating 69.4 degree. We need to adjust the encoder B to 359.7 degrees. Recheck the clamping ring of the encoder B is loose. Friends, there is a hollow shaft located on the inner side of the encoder. The basic adjustment of the angle encoder is carried out by turning this hollow shaft. Using a mandrel or a drill bit, gradually turn this hollow shaft to achieve the angle of the encoder B similar to the angle of encoder A. You can see on the MOP screen, as we rotate the hollow shaft of the encoder B, the crankshaft angle indicated by it changes as per the direction of rotation. Once both the angles communicated by the encoders A and B are identical, the TACO alignment deviation value resets back to zero. This indicates both the encoders are positioned correctly. Lock 
the clamping ring of the encoder B in this position. Since we have adjusted the angles on the encoder, it is very crucial to conduct the Tycho signal function test, rebooting the MPCs of the CCUs and ECUs and setting of the fine adjustment parameters. I'll explain in detail about these procedures in my upcoming video. So guys, do stay tuned with my channel to gain more knowledge about ME engines. Thank you for watching the video. Wish you all safe seas and healthy stay on board. Thank you.